Hi, I'm Lauren Giesler, Extension Plant Pathologist for the University of Nebraska Lincoln. Uh, today we're in a soybean field here in Nebraska where we've seen quite a bit of, of herbicide injury and I want to spend a little time talking to you about differentiating herbicide injury from some of the common foliar soybean diseases we're seeing right now. Um, one of the things that we'll see when we're, we're in a field, when we've got something that's related to application in some way, is going to be the distribution is going to be quite different than most of our foliar diseases. When we've got an application related injury, uh, that's pretty much going to be in every plant. So when we look across that soybean field and, and we're scouting, you know, we're going to see that injury on the leaf tissue pretty much across the, across the field. Also, we're going to see injury from plant to plant very similarly. Now, the particular injury we were looking at today looks a lot like some of the symptomology that we could see for frog eye leaf spot. Now, frog eye is a foliar disease that's not real common in Nebraska yet, but is one that forms these local uh, chlorotic spots on the leaves and it's typically in the upper portion of the canopy. Now, the canopy we're looking at here has injury several nodes below. And with soybeans, we know that a node emerges every 3.7 days about we're gonna get another node. So in this particular scenario, we can see that we've got, you know, something that happened a couple weeks ago that was applied, and then we're seeing a subsequent injury now. If we also would compare that to frog eye leaf spot, we'd expect to see frog eye in some of these upper leaves in the canopy. Uh, those leaves are less susceptible than the lower, and frog eye leaf spot's a disease that will occur typically in the upper portion of the canopy at this time in the season, and then be on the newer leaves. In this case, we've got really healthy new growth. Uh, so putting this all together, where we see the type of symptomology, we see the location distribution-wise in the canopy, um, and, and compare that to the, what we know about some of our common foliar diseases we're seeing right now, uh, we can tell that this is some sort of a chemical injury.